And so now, you know, you put these two ideas together, Malthusianism and eugenics, we can get this systematic plan that's going to emerge. And so uh, the Malthusians, they tell us that millions, uh, or it's, it's billions now based on the Georgia Guidestones, mm-hmm. right? so that, that millions have to die to save the planet. So to maintain the human population at the right number and, and perpetual balance with nature, like uh, the Georgia Guidestones, as we mentioned, uh, tells us, written by, uh, you get this... Um, uh, R.C. Christian. It can be you know Rosicrucian Christian or Roman Catholic Christian, uh, or whatever the pseudonym mm-hmm. may be. But you know it's 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 there and it's written in stone. So while while that's the case, eugenics tells us which human beings of this billion uh, or so population, which one of those need to go, mm-hmm. and that's the survival of the fittest element. And so yeah. or or which members of the human population will be in the group that half. To quote unquote dive to save not only humanity as the species, but to save um, the ecosystem that mm-hmm. humanity uh, lives in. And so these ideas are carried over uh, to the work of, you know, you, you get this occultist, um, a New Age occultist, Alice A. Bailey, uh, whose writings are at the basis of Robert Mueller's World Core Curriculum uh, and UNESCO um, at the United mm-hmm. Nations. And so Alice A. Bailey was, you know, the leader of the Theosophical Society that was established. Um, is Lucifer Press for the purpose of printing and distributing uh, the society's literature. And so this was around, you know, the 1920s. Mm-hmm. Uh, due to public outrage, the people were like, hey, Lucifer Press, like, come on. Uh, the name was changed to Luce, Lucius uh, uh, Press, Press, LTD. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so Lucius Trust, the parent organization, was initially initially headquartered at the United Nations Plaza in New York, uh, has over 6,000 members and is among uh, the found, uh, many many of the foundation sponsors of what we've already uh, covered, the mm-hmm. one world government, this cosmocracy idea. Shocking. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so we have to understand that, you know, what the elite think about Malthusianism. Mm-hmm. You remember uh, the quote from Tedeschi, you know, the, the, they're using those ideas to kind of shape uh, the, the world going forward. Yeah. And they're prominent positions that are making policy, not only of nation states, but now international agreements and mm-hmm. treaties and laws and things like that. And we mentioned before that it's, it's you know, it's the NGOs and the CSOs who are, the artificial bodies that set up to mimic the administrations mm-hmm. within nation states, and it's the corporations that are galvanizing the wealth and and putting the flesh on the bones of mm-hmm. this um, this this next phase. We're going from the the nation state phase to the corporate state phase mm-hmm. to the global state phase. And so, in the book um, Education in the New Age, Alice A. Bailey, she says on page one eleven. 111. Uh, too many of you, for instance, the World War uh, was a supreme disaster. Well, you know, most mm-hmm. people would, <laughs> would agree with that. An agony to be averted in the future at any cost. I mean, that's what a sane person we think, yeah. would think, right? A dire and dreadful happening indicative of the wickedness of man and the incredible blind indifference of God. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, we can, and God, King, Father, Friend, we, we, we have something different to say there. Yeah. But, um, so she is saying that, you know, you guys are looking at the death of these millions of people um, via war, and you think it's a bad thing. As if it was a, yeah, it was this really bad tragedy, <laughs> tragedy right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And so remember, we, I think we, we kind of mentioned in passing before, it was the idea, like, because uh, she's going to put forth this idea of, like, um, you, you shouldn't be so worried about the life form, mm-hmm. but life itself. Yeah, it needs to go on. And there's the, the analogy of like a surgery. If you're going to cut out the cancer, you have to do some injury to get to the cancer to cut mm-hmm. it out. Um, it's better that you injure them in that way to take the cancer out rather yeah, than to the let lesser it evil idea. Right. Yeah. yeah. Act utilitarianism. Mm-hmm. And so if we continue to us on the uh, on the inner side. Oh, who, so who? that just shows the esoteric and exoteric, right? Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Right, the two doctrine policy to us on the inner side, the world war. Uh, was in the nature of a major surgical operation made in an effort to save the patient's life. Hmm. A violent uh, streptococcus germ, an infection, had menaced the life of humanity, speaking in symbols now. right? So, And the operation was made in order to prolong opportunity and save life, not to save the form. Hmm. right? And so um, as we go through here, you get this idea that we need to save life itself, not the form, and and they're going to compound this idea, like um, um, as ma- we've mentioned with Madonna mm-hmm. uh, before, like not everybody makes it to the future, and there's going to be a, a society that's being prepared to inherit that yeah. particular future, and everything else is considered a parasite or a cancer mm-hmm. or um, 
like she's talking about the the yeah. war. It's these things are kind of necessary to you know uh, save the species mm-hmm. as a whole and thus save the e- ecological system. Yeah. Of so the species. already the individual sovereignty is out the window. Duh. We're not even talking about it yet. Not to even tie it to nation state right. and then, then take it away. <laughs> They're just like it's gone. Yep. Yeah. And so if if we continue here, it says. Um, uh, this operation was largely successful. Mm-hmm. Well, most people wouldn't call this, uh, th- they would call it a tragedy. They yeah. wouldn't say that this is largely successful. Uh, the germ, to be sure, uh, is not eradicated. Oh, so we're still here. Yeah. We're still around. We still have humans there. <laughs> and it makes the, its presence felt in infected areas in the body of humanity. Mm-hmm. Mm, this is this is good stuff, right? So, page one twelve. Another surgical operation may be necessary, uh, not uh, in order to destroy and end the present civilization, but in order to dissipate the infection and get rid of the fever. You go, wow! The, the, the Did sh- Fauci write this for him? <laughs> <laughs> it, it almost seems yeah. as though they were um, yeah, they're in communication, uh-huh. right? So. Uh, so she continues, uh, let us never forget if a form proves inadequate or too diseased or too crippled uh, for the expression of that purpose, it is from the point of view of the hierarchy. We're going to figure out later that, you know, when we get to the mystery religion stuff, uh, the hierarchy, this is a spiritual hierarchy that mm-hmm. she's talking about. It's not human beings on earth. These are the governing bodies in, the, in a spiritual sense that are puppeting uh, the the people that are in charge yeah. of nation states. Again, right? whoever she's writing this for, they know exactly what she means, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so all of that will come apparent when we when we do the mystery religion stuff. Um, and so it's no disaster when the form has to go. Um, death is not a disaster to be feared. The work of the destroyer is not really cruel or undesirable. <laughs> so she continues, therefore, there is uh, much destruction permitted um, by the custodians of the plan. Who 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 are these characters? Mm-hmm. Is it the same as the hierarchy? Well, well, obviously we'll get to that later. And much evil turned into good. Mm-hmm. Remember the greater yeah. good, lesser evil idea, mm-hmm. because the end is seen from the beginning. Okay, the end justifies the means, right? That idea, and the consciousness is ripe enough in the experience to relinquish the form because of the sensed benefits to be gained. Mm-hmm. This is true of individuals, of nations. Mm-hmm. And of races. Yeah. And so again, we get this idea that the greater good of humanity, we need to reduce the population. Uh, and if it happens by World War One or World War Two or World War Three, it's not a big deal because, uh, you know, a major surgical operation made in an effort to save the patient's life and not the, the specific life mm-hmm. form. Though, you know, as you mentioned, um, it's not really the the individual that's important, and it's not really your rights that are mm-hmm. important. So this is the ideology that's driving the the, the dissolving of the nation yeah. states. Because if uh, you've already made these distinctions within your mind, it's easy now to to now put the rational justifications for, well, this is for the greater good. Yeah. If you have to lose a leg to save your life, you'll be in a different form, but you'll have your life. That's what we're <laughs> right. trying to do. Right. And so... We get to the next piece. Uh, The form proves inadequate, as she said, or too diseased or too crippled for the expression of that purpose. From that point of view of the hierarchy, it's no disaster when this form has to go. And um, this sounds a lot of like um, Ali Aster Crowley in his book, The Book of the Law. Now, the background behind this character, he's the self-proclaimed wickedness man Mm -hmm. on the earth. Um, And so he says in his his book on page 7, we have nothing... um, with the outcast and the unfit let them die in their misery for they feel not compassion is the vice of kings step down the wretched and the weak this is the law of the strong this is the law and the joy of the world and so he also says in uh, magic and theory and practice page 54 uh, when it becomes necessary to utter a word the whole planet must be bathed in blood Mm. before man is ready to accept the law of telema uh the great war must be fought and so you get this idea depopulation will continue or will include current living human beings as well as preventing future human beings from entering the timeline and so you get this movement towards abortion contraception family planning selective breeding one child policy uh, and there's, you can put a whole laundry mm-hmm. list of things that are in, entangled with this. And so uh, they believe that we need to, you know, create the most fit human stock. That's eugenics. 
um, that is manageable going forward based on the United Nations Sustainable Development mm-hmm. Goals. And so this will kind of move the, will make this transition from there's this ideology that's driving mm-hmm. this whole, um, uh, it, it's the mechanism behind the scenes, putting the fuel on the fire. And then this is going to, you're going to get an outbreak of policies around yeah. this that, uh, you know, all the member states of the United Nations will then latch on to. Mm-hmm. And they, luckily they gave us the dates, right? 2030. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and so now um, this this stock, as we shall see, will be uh, selectively bred to mm-hmm. serve the purpose of the final global state uh, to be transhuman, uh, fused with technology, or biologically upgraded with technology from DNA and genes uh, implanted, or perhaps this wearable tech or uh, implanted mm-hmm. tech. And so it'll be uh, enlightened. Uh, and this is going to get us into the the mystery religion stuff because not only you're going to equip the the body to do certain things, you're going to equip the the mind or the, the spiritual mm-hmm. aspect of these people. So you have in, they'll be initiated via rites and rituals included in this collective idea. So you get the hive mind. Mm-hmm. This is why you'll see a lot of the symbology that's used. Um, things like the beehive is always uh, used as, as an occultic symbol. Uh, and then you'll get this idea that the the population will be controlled, uh, and and I don't really like the whole idea of micro because there's there's so much stuff that's bad data associated yeah. with. It. But the the general concept hold microchipped uh, population or wired into this global smart grid and mm-hmm. the smart cities. Um, because later on we'll, we'll discover either if we get to it in this podcast or the next this idea that um everybody will be herded into these city centers mm-hmm. and this is the move to get everybody uh the population reduced and on a social uh um credit score credit score not mm-hmm. only that but a universal basic income mm-hmm. but not only that you you're going to get this idea that um uh, all of this stuff is going to be implemented under different names. And, and when people kind of get hip to this, these guys have their way of describing uh, the people that are kind of like uh, without using, I mean, uh, awakening yeah. to the, these sorts of ideas. And then they have a, a counter conspiratorial team. And, mm-hmm. and it's interesting because that information is old, but we're seeing the fruition of that today with the Ministry of Truth mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the is, Bureau yeah, of Disinformation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and so uh, eugenics and Malthusianism uh, were deeply linked in, you know, and devised by this uh, English woman, uh, Margaret Sanger, uh, who coined the phrase birth control, which which then led to, you know, Planned Parenthood uh, and then family planning, uh, which had this uh, zero to do with the things that are that are kind of like bogging it down, like women's rights. Mm-hmm. Like as today, it, they're finding it difficult to even define what a woman is. Yeah, but they have rights. That's sure. <laughs> but they ha- somehow they, ha- they mm-hmm. have these rights. Um and this is the stuff that's normally attached to uh, all of those things. So you'll you'll dip into to all the the stuff that's kind of like mur- mudding the waters. And so it has everything to do with the elite wanting a future for their inheritance, which they see as the entire earth, unvarnished by the useless eaters, which would be you and I. Right? But since it was packaged in this, you know, the garb of women's rights, you'll get this idea that it'll be swallowed hook, line and sinker. 